Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine Open World tutorial series. So in this episode, we are going to work on a, a simple blend space, simple movement blend space for the civilian character. And then we are going to create a set up uh, the civilian character blueprint. And then we are going to do a simple behavior for the civilian. So he will run for five seconds and he will stop for another five seconds like this and then again he will start running so that's the basic the most basic part i am going to cover today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me right now we have imported the civilian character I am going to use so let's um, first create a blend space for the moments of this civilian characters because uh, basically working is the most basic thing this uh, civilian character should be able to do so without that I can't do anything else uh, all right so let's uh, let's not make this very complex let's keep it simple okay this work animation seems good enough I'll use the in place one and let me download it I don't need this skin so I'll download it without this skin and yeah I also need a running animation what about this one okay this seems good enough right um, now let's go here and yeah brute animation wait I need to organize this a little bit mat text so I'll put all the materials and textures into inside this folder because otherwise I really it's hard to find things here right um, now let's create a blend space um, 1d okay and I'll name the horizontal axis as speed and I'll define the speed minimum value as 0 and maximum value as 400 oh, 600 I think that's the usual running run uh, running speed so this is 0 and this is let's have six divisions okay this is 200 right this is better uh, now let's import those animations working running into skeleton and let's put the idle here and the uh, walking into 
and run in into 600 right now let's create an animation blueprint for oh. Let's call it PPA Fruit. Let's just use this one for now. And I'll update the speed variable like this. And in the event graph in the blueprint update animation if I can get the phone owner like this if this one is valid I get velocity get the vector length and set that as the speed so that is the velocity of the character the velocity is magnitude so it will be I will use that as the speed of the character right now we need to create a character blueprint mm -hmm. I can't create it like that Let's create a blueprint character pp. No, let's just call it ch pro. No, let's call it ch civilian. now yeah actually under human i have created this ch human character with all these components with weapons with bow and arrow and everything so yeah now that I understand I'm going to implement civilians so if I create a subclass from the human and use that for the civilian so the civilian alien will also have these weapons and everything so that's not good actually this is a fault in the architecture of the system that I have been defined so uh, at that time I didn't really think about it so yeah so therefore I think I'll do the CH civilian uh, instead of making it a child class of the CH human I'll make an independent class so that will also make it easier for you guys to follow as well right now as for the mesh I'll use proof let me fix the location Ninety is a little too much maybe 88 yeah that's it and he's not looking at forward direction so I rotate it 90 degrees no minus 90 degrees right now the character is forward and the mesh forward is same and we have to assign the animation blueprint as VPA fruit right now just to test the characters 
this characters um, functions let's uh, in the begin play now in the tick let's add add a moment input in the forward direction I'll promote this one to as input this is only for testing I won't keep this function for long so in the begin play I'll set input as as one um, yeah let's use a flip flop get here so what this does is at the first time it will execute the line a and then line b and then line a and then line b so like that okay here also i'll do the same and here i'll make the input value to zero and i'll add a delay of five seconds and loop it back here so he will work for five seconds and stop for five seconds and again work for five seconds and will stop for five seconds so right let's see what happens now this is the mesh i'll delete it and i'll add the cvl here okay wait where is it right now he is running and he is stopped and he's again running and stopped and again he will run right oh, let makes this a little more fun so No, uh, no, not really. I think this would be enough for now. So, yeah, I'll stop this episode at this point, and in the next episode, I'll continue with the, the other features, and also we need to work on a AI behavior tree based AI controller for this uh, civilian character and so uh, there i plan to implement stuff like working on a road and when the player equip sword or any weapon they should be they should fear and run away and things like that so yeah usual npc civilian behaviors we can see in games so that's what i am going to implement here and thanks for watching so if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description uh, description below and also i have released two more episodes in the third person shooter series uh, it is still in the early access mode for the patrons so if you like you can check out them as well and thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye